I don't even know where to start. Today has been an absolute nightmare, and I need to get it all out before I explode. So apologies in advance for the upcoming rant. But I really need to let these words spill out of me. I discovered that my girlfriend, Tara, the person I loved, the one who was supposed to be my refuge, was cheating on me. With my cousin. The pain of betrayal was unimaginable. How could she, someone I trusted implicitly, stab me in the back so ruthlessly? I felt like my world had crumbled beneath my feet, leaving me in a void of disbelief and heartbreak. I broke up with her immediately and have been trying to avoid her ever since while I get my head sorted. I've always prided myself on being logical, on keeping my emotions in check. But today, my emotions are a wild, uncontrollable beast, clawing at the walls of my sanity. I've been trying so hard to stay composed, not to let my feelings consume me. But today they hit me like a tidal wave. I can't keep it in any longer. I ran into Tara. I wish I could say I handled it well, but that would be a lie. I went from being unbelievably infuriated to feeling an overwhelming sadness that I thought might drown me. Every emotion in the spectrum hit me, hard and fast, and I found myself struggling to keep up. I've been a wreck since that encounter for a million different reasons. The anger was blinding, so intense that all I could see was red. But then the sadness washed over me like a torrential rain, leaving me feeling utterly despondent. I ended up locking myself in the bathroom, turning on the shower to muffle my sobs because I didn't want anyone to see me like this. I didn't want to be vulnerable, especially not in front of my family who have already seen me at my lowest. And then there's the shame. Oh, the shame. I can't believe I felt any pity for Tara when she started crying, as if she was the victim here. This person who once claimed to care for me tore my life apart. She drove a wedge between me and my family, shattered my trust, and made me question every single interaction I have with others, every smile, every gesture. I wonder, what does this person expect to get from me? How can they exploit me? Why do I feel pity for someone who brought me to the brink of despair? What messes with my head even more is the memory of her being my rock, especially when my dad passed away. She was my light in the darkest of times, and now she's responsible for pushing me deeper into the shadows. And then there's my cousin, the person I trusted, the one who betrayed me. The burning rage I feel whenever I think about his stupid face is unbearable. I've never harbored thoughts of hurting anyone before, but the mere thought of him sends me into a violent spiral of anger and despair. I even find myself resenting my own family, innocent members who share his bloodline. It's irrational, I know, but the name alone fills me with a fury I can't contain. I've struggled with suicidal thoughts for a long time. It's something that has haunted me, something that drew me to Tara in the first place. I thought she understood my pain, my darkness, but now I don't know how to talk to anyone about my mental health. I've never been able to open up to my family about these thoughts, and it's a burden I carry alone. I've been told that I sound mentally well, that I've handled things admirably. But the truth is, I'm far from okay. I'm drowning in this sea of despair, and I don't know how to swim to the surface. It's hard to talk to people to let them see the broken pieces of me. But I guess here, in the anonymity of the internet, I can let it out. You know, if you're going to cheat on someone, just break up with them. I can't wrap my head around the devastation I feel right now. I might still be down and broken if she had just broken up with me, but at least I could have started to rebuild myself. Instead, I'm left with this overwhelming sense of betrayal and heartache, wondering how someone I loved so deeply could inflict such pain. I don't know if any of this even makes sense, but I needed to release it into the void. I needed to share my pain, my anger, my confusion. I'm sure some people would say I should talk to my friends or family, but I've never been able to discuss my mental state with them like this. Only Tara knew this side of me, the side that's struggling to hold on. Thanks for listening to my rant. I don't know where else to put these words, but at least here, in this digital space, I can scream into the void and hope that someone out there understands. Stay strong, everyone. Thanks for listening.